Hello, I am Mario Master Triple Seven One, and today, have you wondered if, if it was ever possible to play Super Mario Flash with a controller? Well, it actually is, thanks to this little program called Joy the Key. So, uh, okay, this program is really small, so it won't take up much space in your computer. So, here's how how to set up the keys and and the controls to play Super Mario Flash with an actual controller. USB external controller, I, of course. I'm using I'm using now my, my PlayStation 3 controller to play Super Mario Flash. Okay, so you get um, this program called Joy the Key, and the first thing you're gonna do is create a new profile. You can call it Super Mario Flash or SMF, whatever. And now, okay, SMF1 uses the the basic uh, directional keys up, down, left, and right. Okay, so it's recognizing my joystick, my my controller. I mean, I'm pressing the the up direction of the D-pad, and it's showing up, just like it's highlighting the POV upwards. Okay, so to to modify the inputs, you select this the up button, edit button assignment, and just click the the, the corresponding key. <clears throat> Don't worry about these other options, those don't, don't interest you. Okay, now for left you do the same thing. A right, I mean. <clears throat> right key. Down button, down key. And left key. Left direction, the left key. So simple. Okay, now for the jump button we're gonna use um, like the X button. The, or the... The B button or A button in the Super NES com controller. Okay, so button three is the is the X button. Okay, okay, the button assignment. So the jump key for in Super Mario Flash one, two, and three is up. So yep, yeah, up has actually two buttons, but that it will still work. So don't worry, but. SMF two and three utilizes the, the the X key, which is used for carrying objects like shells, B switches. Okay, this key is button four, like it's highlighted here. Button assignment, X key. Click OK. Always click OK to confirm your decisions. Oh, and space. I forgot the space button. Okay, space button can be the ball because okay, space button is actually also used for confirming decisions. So the, um, your natural thought would be start button, but that will be a little bit too far off from X, and it means you have to hop your thumb around too 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 often. So I think it's more recommended if you use the circle button, the one to the right of the X button. Okay, so. Circle one will be space. Okay, and then hold on. Ah, so yes, I also use this program to play Sonic Mania. I got it. I got the PC version. <clears throat> but this video is about SM SMF. So, so let's test it out, and I'm gonna actually show. The actual footage of myself playing with the controller in with Super Mario Flash. So be right back. All right, so here's my um, USB controller, and as you can see, as I press the button, it's it's highlighted in the, in the program. Let's test it out on Super Mario Flash. Let's try out Super Mario Flash One, for example. One player game. Yeah, I haven't set the. Um, yeah, right. Space button is actually this button right here. Okay, here we go. Watch as I play Super Mario Flash with an actual controller. Alright, so far so good. It actually feels really smooth, to be honest. Much better than the keys in my opinion. <laughs> wow. And to shoot fireballs, you have to click this button. 
that's depending on your settings, of course. Your your controller might look like an Xbox 360 controller, but might I mean, might also look like a PlayStation 3 controller, like mine. Okay, see, yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah. Who would have thought it's actually possible to to play Super Mario Flash with the controller? Wow. Okay, and let's move on to. Oops. Let's move on to Super Mario Flash Two. And see how how it works. Oh right, it's it's the circle button. <laughs> oh man. Okay, now I'm I'm using the square button to carry the shell. Wow, it actually feels like playing Super Mario World. And yes, this is the same exact controller that I used to play on my, with my on my playthroughs, being Super Mario World and Super Mario Bros. Three. No, oh, it's kind of clumsy with all of these controls, but it's manageable. Yeah, and use the X key to hop off Yoshi and use the square button to do so as well. Look at that. It works like it actually works like a charm. Oh yeah, I still haven't got used to the controls yet. Okay, I actually <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Come back here, Yoshi. No Ah forget him. I wish I could um, show you how flying with the controller, but I won't have time for for that, unfortunately. There we go. Works pretty nicely. All right. Oh, you haven't been hearing the sound. Okay, let's have a little bit more fun. Wow. Let's see if this is loud enough now. Yeah, you can actually hold up and right to be this level practically pretty much. See? Oh my god, it's Wow, it feels so smooth. I can't stop saying this. <laughs> Wow. Okay. So far, so good. <laughs> then we beat the level. Yippee! It works. Okay, um. You can also use this to input the cheats. So you go back to the Joy Q Keep pro uh, program. Hang on, let me mute for a while. Okay, so cheat code is C and H. So I thought of using the uh, L1 and R1 buttons. These buttons right here. Yeah, buttons 5 and 6 it shows. Okay, you do the same thing as the other buttons. C for C key for the L1. And button um, H for H key for the R1 button, but you can actually assi assign mouse clicks too. For the mouse click, I'm going to assign the triangle button on my PS3 controller. This one, button one. Okay, to assign mouse controls, you do this. You go over over there, over here. You assign special keys and. And select mouse L button to key one. You don't change that and click assign, and then click OK. And that's it. Let's see if it works for Super Mario Flash One. Oh, I just closed. Okay. Let's see it in action. Yep, it works. It works. Wow. Let's see if I can fly here for a bit. Wee! Oh my god, it works! There you go! This is how you 
how you play Super Mario Flash 1 with a, a controller. Okay, so this is Mario Master 3771. I hope you like this video and as always, thanks for watching.